Welcome to Mount Zion News. I'm Amanda Patterson, and today we have Gia Proctor, our middle school ministry leader here at Mount Zion. Welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Mount Zion. Good to see everyone. Um, hey, Gia, can you give us any inspiration to our youth as they head back to school? Um, I have a few things. Um, know that God loves you, your church family loves you, and your Sunday school teachers loves you. Also know that God wants the best for you and that faith and wisdom go hand in hand. Um, I have some Bible verses to go along with it. Uh, Romans 5, 8 says, but God shows his love for us and that while we were sinners, he died, Christ died for us. So remember that, that um, with the start of the school year, you are loved um, by God, your family, your church. Um, when I mentioned that God wants the best for you, I was thinking of uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, which says, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. There are plans for peace and not disaster, plans to give you a future filled with hope. So God has hope for you for this school year and that you guys will do well. And as I mentioned, faith and wisdom go hand in hand. And I would say study to do your best um, for the school year. But that's also a Bible verse, 2 Timothy 2.15, which talks about study to do your best to present yourself to God approved, a workman who has no reason to be ashamed and handles the word of truth skillfully. So God's word is universal. He's a universal God. And so his precepts and his understandings for us is universal as well. And so if we take the understanding to study to show ourselves approved and do our best work, we should have a successful school year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what are some tips or websites parents can go to to get resources for personal Bible study with their kids? Um, well, I, I'm trying to think across um, all ages. And when I think of that, the first one I would say is start with your church. Um, during the, the, the year when your kids, when we all were involved in Sunday school, um, many times handouts were given out. Um, the Sunday school teachers are wonderful resources if you can reach out or have connections to them and our, our church website. Um, also, um, for devotionals, believe it or not, when my kids were younger, before I knew, got online with devotionals, I would go to the library. The library actually has a section of Bibles and devotionals for kids of all ages. Another um, tip is the Version Bible. That's my one that I'm my favorite right now because I use that with my kids and I really like it because it has different things, different topics. You can pull up youth topics, you can pull up topics, just general family, um, any topic you can think of, you can find devotionals there. Um, another good website is um, Bible Gateway. Revelation Media also has videos that talk about missionaries. If you're looking for good stories mm -hmm. that are biblical and videos that you can show kids, those are some good um, places to look. Um, yeah, I, those are some of the things that come to mind that I know are pretty good sites that I've used with my own children. Good, good. Well, thank you, Gia. That, that's very helpful for um, the parents and the kids as they get ready to go back to school. Um, do you mind ending in a word of prayer for us? Sure. Um, dear Lord, most merciful Father, you are sovereign and universal God. And we lift all of our school children, all of the schools, the many schools that are represented in the body of Mount Zion. We lift all of the administrators to you and our families so that you would cover them going into this school year. And not just regarding the schooling, but regarding the rest of 2020. Your hand will be over all of our children, all of the families, and all of these schools. Let each one of them reach out to you with faith and wisdom. We ask that you anoint the teachers to teach creatively, to teach in a way that's honoring, and that we open, that you, Lord, will open the hearts and minds of the children to learn as they have not learned before. And also to have the parents filled, filled with wisdom in how they want to proceed with their children during the school year and that they feel equipped to be able to do so. Your, your love and grace and mercy over these, this school year for these children and for all of us in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thank you, Gia. We appreciate you having on the show and we'll see you soon. Thank you. God, God bless. bless.